Okay, so if we go back to the settings section and in the templates and we'll go to the master and we'll do this uh, a lot quicker um, in the text area. So okay, so we after an ASP content place holder, uh, we want to run it at the server. And we're going to give it an ID of um, uh, master head placeholder. And we just close this tag. So we're interested in this ID. So we can copy that. And we save this. And in our home page, we uh, ideally at the top because obviously it, it reads a lot better if. We have another SP content and we get a, an ID which is, um, say, for example, um, home page head. And we're going to say the content placeholder it's referring to holder ID it's referring to is um, the master head placeholder. And we want to run it. At the server. <laughs> so the good thing about this is that, say for example, on this home page template, I might want to add in a specific uh, CSS or JavaScript file um, only specific for this template, um, as opposed to having it on every single um, template. If we put this, if we was to put this in the master. Um, so we can chop and change what we want to load into our templates, which is quite useful. So, um, okay, uh, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna put a um, comment, HTML comment tag in for the time being. Um, I am in the head section, nothing too interesting. And if we were to save this now, and go back, you, we won't physically see anything in the browser because obviously it was just a HTML um, comment and we're putting the, the content in the head section so we won't physically see anything because it's not in the body tag. But yeah, there we go. So we can see our um, comment is being put in from our child template, which is great. Um, other various things we can do uh, with master pages is once Visual Studio wants to work is drag and drop like elements such as a login control directly onto the master page um, things such as uh, yeah login controls validation controls things like that we can drag straight onto the template without having to put uh, having to create a dot net user control some people find this may be useful um, some people may still prefer to use um, I forgot what it's called uh, user controls um, because they can reuse that content over and over again wherever they want in the template uh, it's just a matter of per personal preference um, when it comes down to that but yeah hopefully this has uh, shown you a quick insight into master templates for version 4 of Umbrico any questions uh, give me a shout thanks Bye.